This is the opening for the aft pressure bulkhead near the back of the airplane. In this area there's no pressurization so all the pressurization for the passengers is forward of this opening. When I go in the opening this is what you see when you stand in the opening this is the aft pressure bulkhead. It's a strong seal that keeps all the pressure into the passenger compartment area. So any electrical wiring, cables, plumbing, hydraulics, fuel, drain lines that pass through that bulkhead have to be sealed. This is the main uh, bleed air line or pneumatic duct that will come from the APU, the auxiliary power unit, which is in the tail, um, a little bit farther back. Here's the hydraulic lines from the hydraulic pump in the APU. We've got a few of the control cables that come back for the rudder. Some of the sensor return cables that mark uh, the position of the uh, elevator and the rudder. Give uh, sensory feedback. Fuel lines, drain lines, fuel drain lines. <clears throat> you can see where the cables and everything pass through the fair leads in the pressure bulkhead they have to be sealed off to control air leakage out of the uh, pressurized area that amber colored or that brown colored wire up there was the main power feeder from the APU when it's uh, feeding the airplane with electricity. This is actually the horizontal stabilizer the center section that we're looking at. This whole unit can move up and down to adjust what's called your trim and then attached on the outside of this is the elevators which actually is what the pilots were moving when they moved their control stick. This is a giant jack screw that's used to adjust the elevator up or down for your trim position. It's got these hydraulic motors. These milky colored tubes are uh, drain tubes in case the hydraulic motors develop an internal case leak via damage of some kind or failure. Then the hydraulic uh, leak oil, oil leaking through into the case would be drained out of the aircraft. Anyway, this jack screw is massive. It's about three inches in diameter very heavy, very strong. <clears throat> These are elevator position sensors. They got a cable to the bottom and a cable to the top. They're attached to a sensor that we'll see in just a moment up in the ceiling that like a transducer. There we go. There's three of those on the elevator on the stabilizer. That's them up there and the cables pull back and forth on the pulley and the pulley, the transducer measures the movement and then translates that into a position for the pilots to know and for the flight computers to know what the position of the tail is, the uh, horizontal stabilizer. There's the power feeder cable again. Those are fit in one piece. You don't splice those. So we've got three of those on the airplane. One from the APU and one from each motor, in each engine on the wing. And those run from the generator all the way to the power distribution panel in one section. This is on the outside underneath the elevator, the horizontal stabilizer. Those are the closeout uh, fairings that cover over the opening in the fuselage. And this whole L um, horizontal stabilizer moves up and down. 
it's all opened up now for inspections. Looking for cracks or corrosion, anything like that. <laughs> 